Hello you gorgeous lot, it's Gran here with another episode of Vintage Story on the Rusty Gear server. Now then, if I can get myself across this bridge without falling off or going over the edge, I'll be quite chuffed. <laughs> there we go, there we go, I'm at the pond. As you remember, in the last episode, I focused solely on the fountain in the pond and I said that I was going to do a lot of work upstairs, up in the big build this week, and that is exactly what I've done. I've done so much that I think I'll just walk around and show you what I've been up to. And I got some lovely comments last week about the fountain. I was, I was fair chuffed. I was fair chuffed. Uh, I've added some vines around them, and actually... This is annoying me quite a bit, this green spire cypress, because it's got a big trunk. And I don't like them with big trunks. I don't think they should have big trunks, really. I like it when they grow up from the floor. So while I'm here, I'm just going to whiz on my angel belt. I'm going to chop that one down and replant it in the hope that it will grow up from the bottom. Let me just... I'm going to put some different soil in as well. I'm not quite sure what soil I've got in there, but I'm hoping that it's different to this that I've just picked out of there. Because <laughs> if not, then I'll just be replacing it with whatever's there already. So I'm going to chop this down. It won't take long to grow. They don't. It's August now, so things grow quite quickly. Did I get any seed back? No, because I didn't use me. Um, I didn't use my shears, did I? Right, so what is this? It's um same. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just I'll just cross my fingers and hope that that grows up without a trunk. Because I don't like them with a trunk. And we'll, hopefully it'll look like the other. Yes, so, as you can see, the pond, uh, the fountain is still pink. I haven't thought of another colour to put in it. Uh, Tomina did suggest that if I did change it, it might look nice with a, a, a nice pale blue. But we haven't really got one in-game. So... I've left, it, I've left it as it is. That's Sid's gorgeous star there. Love it. Another suggestion I got was from Markimus, who suggested I put some green-looking voxels down at the bottom there. Some um, Something green at the bottom to suggest that it got a little bit mossy down there. So I added some. In fact, I might add some more because it does look quite effective, does that? And I might add some so that it is a little bit, um, you know, it sticks out a little bit at the bottom. Because I think just placing it within the pink doesn't do it justice. So I, might, I'll, I think I'll add some more of those. Yeah, I quite like that. And as you can see, I've added a bit of ivy around. Just give it a little bit more green, a different type of green than the, the green spire cypress. And I'm quite liking that. And as you know, I have added some blocks around the bottom of the pond as well. I did that when I built the pond. Um, just to give it a sort of a mossy look, just uh, at the level of the water. I think that works quite well. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. Hmm. Now, the biggest amount of work, the most amount of work I've done just lately has been up top. But I have added another little corner of greenery in here. There wasn't as much room because this is the entrance bit as these others here. So I thought I would just do a little one. It's decorated the same though, because obviously it needs to. And I'm thinking, now why didn't I put a green spire cypress there? Because that, I think that would fit, wouldn't it? On the other side of that, um, actually it might be a bit close. I don't know. I might try a green spire cypress just there. And if it's too close, I'll take it down and put something else there. But I think I'd like to try that. I need another one. Let me just go get one. Here we go. So, I think I could just squeeze one in there. That's it. We'll have a look at that when it grows. It might be a bit close so that that won't be in the middle, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Might shave a bit off the top and have a short one. <laughs> I've also put some hidden lighting in these corners because they were a bit dark. So, there's a lantern there and another one there. Look, I put one in each one and I think they look a lot better because they've got lighting 
and I think it shows them off a bit better. Still haven't got any decorations in here, but I am thinking I might chisel some um, furniture in here because I think the vintage story furniture um, won't quite go in this area. I think it's far too dark. I really do. So I'm going to have to chisel some. But I will be decorating it with a lot of the other vintage story treasures that we find in the ruins. I think that'll definitely go very well in here. Right, I'm just going to take my angel belt off because I want to walk up the stairs to show you the next change that I've made. Because it's right at the top of the stairs. It's a window. And I've done quite a few of them all along the side. And I'm quite chuffed with these windows. I really like them. I chose purple heart wood, as you can see. And I've embellished it with the white chalk. And I think it works really well. I put them all along that side. I did wonder what I was going to end up doing with these open sides. Uh, I didn't want just a flat wall. I wanted a lot of depth in them. And I wanted quite a bit of fanciness in them. This middle one is a little bit bigger because of this extra bit I've put on this right hand side here um, it's not symmetrical so I had to move some of the beams over and so the middle bit ended up a bit bigger but I quite like the effect there's lots of depth in there in both the whole panel as a whole and in the window as well and I got that effect by more or less making a stencil, if you like, and then embellishing it with the white chalk. I quite like the way that that has turned out. It's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. The other thing I might as well mention while I'm at the top of the stairs is that I made a mistake with making this railing because it wasn't the, it wasn't the design that I wanted. And as you can see, I've changed it on the outside. I don't know if you noticed that. It was too full, too full for my liking. And really what I'd done, I'd made a big mistake with the design and I'd, I'd kept the negative of it, if you can understand me. It, um, yeah, if you look on this side, it's the same design, but it's actually the more open design that I like. So I took off a panel and I made it right and then I changed all the panels on the outside. But that would have been an immense amount of work to change all the panels on the staircase. So the inside bit is going to stay the same. But I really did want a more open aspect to it at the top. So that you could actually see through it. Which you can't do very well on the stairs. And I don't think it matters that you can't on the stairs. But I really wanted it to be like that on this top bit. So what else have I done? Um, I've closed off this side here. And I created a lot of lanterns. I think I must have made about 20 lanterns. And that sounds like a lot to make. But I nipped over to Shino's to use his super fast health hammers. And I knocked them out in no time at all. It was fantastic. I keep having to look at that wall because I'm so chuffed with it. So another thing, as you can probably see already, is that I opened up a big space up here at the top. When you look at some of the Rivendell buildings, they have a lot of open space. And they use a lot of pillars to hold up the floors, but they have this big open space in the centre. I had been wondering what I was going to do with this top bit. And I didn't just want you to be able to look up and just see the roofing. I wanted something quite spectacular. So I thought I'd include some rafters. And you can do these all sorts of shapes and sizes. But I wanted to draw the line up to the centre. So that you could see the centre rafters up at the top there. And I quite like those. They are all the same. They're all made out of K-pop. Um, you wouldn't think so in the middle there. But that's because it's in shadow. But they are all the same. And round here is going to be a fairly smallish room. And I've done the rafters in there a little bit smaller. And I'm not quite sure ex whether I need these pillars as tall as this. But I think this will be a nice space. 
I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here to enclose it, but um, I'll think of something. I'm no doubt. I'll think of something. But this area, I think I could divide up into maybe two or three different rooms. And I've got to think about how I'm going to effectively do that and keep it quite nice. Another area I've been working on is this outside bit here. And I added some more chiseling, which is here, as you can see. I'm just going to put my belt on so you can see it a little bit better if we go up. There we go. It looks a bit familiar at the bottom half, doesn't it? But I've added more embellishments on this one. A lot of curly bits. A lot of spirals. Not sure about that bit in the middle there. I think I've looked at this before, changed it and still not been happy with this. And that's because obviously there's an equal number in a block. So you've got to... Oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, I don't want that either. I wanted this one. So I'll put that in there. But what to do with that side? I don't think I can, can I? Uh... Yeah, that just looks as bad. Put that back in, take that one off. That's how it started. Oh, I could fiddle with this stuff all day. I could try and make it right in my eyes. Not, it needs something in there, doesn't it? Oh, don't know what that was doing there. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. For now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I've also added these, which are sort of half pillars, and I'm going to do some chiseling on this bit here with, I want it, uh, some nice colourful plants coming out with some sort of ivy coming down there. But it's going to be in, it's going to be away from the back part. Uh, it's going to be independent of those, so that's going to, I'm going to have to put some more blocks on the outside of that. So that's what I'm going to be doing there. What else have I got to show you? I'm just wondering. I don't think I need these as tall as these, actually. I could do a little fancy railing around the bottom instead. I'm thinking... Yeah, because I've got this little bit of decor around here. It's very, very simple. But I quite like it. It's quite effective. It draws the eye. And here I've done a little bit of chiselling so where the pillars meet the edge. It was I was I was I wondered what to do with it, but I eventually came to that sort of design and it, it suited it. I thought I quite liked it. Just on that bit though. How much is this? this? One, two, three, four. I could bring those up. One two three four you see this five there I'm just, it probably doesn't need that up there but then I'm wondering if it needs to be that tall anyway I could do a different kind of banister just around the top it just needs to be there to stop you from falling over into the into this area that's all yeah I shall think about that so the other thing I have to think about is how I'm going to divide up the, this area because I'd like to get two or three rooms in here if I can but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. So as you can see I've made some arches around the front and if you see the main building in Rivendell it has these arches on the front and it also has some carvings but I haven't done carvings as such. I've done some chiselling as you'll see in a second, but um, I sort of shied away from chiseling people. <laughs> don't think I'm quite ready to try that yet. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the inside of them, on the inside here. I'm not quite sure yet, but I have finished the outside of these arches, which I'm going to show you now. And I'm going to go to the front and turn round so you can see it full on. So let's just get over here. And I've only just finished this. There. As you will know, I do like my ivy. So I've used that a lot here. But I've given it a lot of depth. I've done 
two or three layers on each one. Oh, I haven't finished that one, look. Let me just get whip my chisel out and just finish off that one. I haven't inspected it properly, have I really? Let me just pop this on here. There, we'll have a couple there and one there. There we go. That's how I've done it. Have I done everything on there? Yeah, I think that looks okay. I bet I've missed that one on this one as well. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Let me have a look. Quick look. I haven't inspected this properly yet because I've only just finished it. I've missed one off there. Let me just put that on there. And that is extra long. That shouldn't be on there. And that. There we go. There, yeah. I think I've done those correctly on there. I think that was probably the right voxel. Look like a shadow, I think. Right, so let me get these out of the way. And then I wanted to have the even star in here somewhere. And I thought that would be a good place to put it. But I wasn't quite sure how that would turn out because it is quite curvy. But I think it's worked out okay. And I'm not planning to do anything else with that central panel. I think I think that needs to be on its own. I'm quite happy with that there, I think. And I'm very happy with the flowers and the ivy that I've done on each of the side panels. I quite like that a lot. And I've just created a little bit of green moss coming down from the top there, which I quite like. And that looks quite effective. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, the way that it's shaping up. So if I put my angel belt back on and just come up and out a little bit, you'll see it all together. That's how it's looking at the front so far. And I think I'm really happy with that. Quite happy with that. So I have this chiseling bit to do here. And then I've got to sort out furniture and how I'm going to divide up these rooms here. So as I say, I think probably two or three rooms maybe on this side. The other thing that I've been wondering about how to do is because obviously if this is a room inside here, it needs something to close it off from the outside. And I have thought about screens. Maybe a screen of the same shape as this, but maybe two, maybe one or two blocks inside here. I don't know how that would work, whether it would look okay or not, but it probably would be in purple, um, purple heart again. And I'm thinking in the same shape as these arches, but maybe one or two blocks inside. So that we don't have a door, you actually go around the screen to go outside. So I'm toying with that idea. And maybe doing something fancy, um, like the windows downstairs, sort of a, like a stencil type design on each of them. So I'm going to have a go at that and see. I'm not going to do any um, designs on the inside of this purple heart. I may even take those lines out because they are bothering me a little bit. So I may take them out on the inside. But yeah, it's time now to get some furniture in, I think, and to get these divided up. I'm quite excited, actually, to think of all this filled with stuff. Don't know where they're going to go exactly and what it's going to look like. This will be a room, I think, on its own. And I can't wait to see it full of furniture. Not quite sure which room this is going to be though, but there's going to be a lot everywhere. I have been collecting some stuff, uh, but I, I'll know I'll need to go out and get some more. So yeah, so that's how, that's where I've got to so far. Uh, that's a lot of chiseling and a lot of work. And I'm trying, trying to get at least this building finished for the end of the um, season, because the season is coming to an end. And I feel now that I planned far too much in this build for the time that I'd got. So I can't, hand on heart, I can't see me 
doing any other buildings but this one so i need to really concentrate on this and get this finished before the end of the season so the sun's going down as you can see it's square isn't it <laughs> the sun is going down and it's time to go so take care everybody and i'll see you in the next episode and hopefully i'll have some furniture in by then we shall see Bye-bye. <laughs>